Good morning, everyone, and welcome to What's New Wednesday at Kimberbell. How are you today? Today I'm coming uh, to you from my office, actually, at Kimberbell headquarters. Uh, we had a company-wide picture today, this morning, and so I thought, well, <laughs> let's just go ahead and do it straight from here. Um, I can't wait to show you the picture. Our, our company has certainly grown even in the last six months, even the last year. And what started out as just, you know, myself and my husband and a couple other people has now grown to over a hundred employees, which I couldn't be more grateful for. Um, I can't wait to share you, with you those images when they come back. So who do we have with me today? It looks like we've got Kelly from Louisiana and Yvette from West Chicago, Illinois. Hi, Donna from Florida and Deborah. Where'd you go, Deborah? From Milton, Florida. Nice to nice to see you. Uh, let's see. We've got Lynn from Texas and Donna from Connecticut. Julie from Minnesota. Hi, Chris Spencer. Hello, Deb from Delaware. Sheila from West Virginia. Sybil from Oklahoma. Good morning, Bev and Chris from Northern California. Kathy from San Antonio, Texas and Ellen from Minnesota. So nice to see you all and so many more. Um, today's What's New Wednesday is going to be, you know, a, a, a fun one, of course, right? They're always fun, I hope. Um, hopefully you saw last week's What's New Wednesday where Little London was my guest. Uh, wasn't she a doll? If you didn't get a chance to watch it last week, it's not too late because you're going to want to see uh, not only my little interview with London um, and her experience that she got to have sewing with Mrs. Claus and Santa, but also the brand new event called North Pole Tear Tray. Very, very fun event that's coming out here uh, very soon. I think shops can start hosting it this month or, or in September, I believe. So anyway, hopefully you're all signed up for that. So what do we have going on this week? What do we have to talk about this week? Well, let's go ahead and get started with a little bit of Sew and Tell with Kimberbell, first of all, and then we'll go from there. <laughs> All righty, you guys have been busy as always. And so I went searching through the Kimberbellas and Fellas Facebook page and found all sorts of good stuff you guys are working on. Let's take a look at this mug rug set. This is from Barbara. She says, my fault mug rugs, gifts I made. Isn't that beautiful? I love Barbara that you actually used such unique um, colors on those pumpkins. It didn't always have to be orange. You used some, um, you know, mustards and then the blacks and then the multicolored. It looks beautiful, Barbara. I believe this one came from volume one, if I remember right. Um, just really cute gifts to make. Love it so much. In fact, Barbara, you weren't the only one that having a fall on your mind with this mug rug. Here we have Charlene saying that this is her first project. Again, I believe that design is from volume one and I love the decorative stitching on that pumpkin. It's just simple, but so elegant too, isn't it? Thank you for sharing. Another one from volume one. Jackie says, fall is one of my favorite times of the year. And I thought, why not get started on my mug rugs? I love the way this turned out. You know what, Jackie? I do too. It looks fantastic. Thank you so much for sharing those, you guys. Um, this one actually comes from volume five. Pamela says, a gift for a beautiful Bible study teacher and friend. She loves butterflies, purples, and yellows. The sentiment is so true. Uh, she mentions it is from volume number five. She loves it. It's a winner. Great collection. I'm so glad to hear that. Thank you for sharing that. Love the, the fabrics you chose on that. Here's another one from Kat. She says, made the cherry mug mat for my sister last month. It's so appropriate because it's monsoon season in Arizona and she hurt herself. Well, that's not good, right? But I'm so glad you were able to make this. I'm sure it just made her day. Um, I love how you personalized it on the back. She'll never forget that. And, um, and this one also comes from volume five. Very, very fun. Okay, you guys have been 
sending in so many of your versions of the October 31st pillow. Boy, this makes me happy. Teresa says, I'm not a big fan or I'm not a big Halloween person, but I love this little pillow. Three more to make. Yeah, I think a lot of people would agree with you, Teresa. Halloween's kind of like a, you know, you either love it or you hate it, or you, maybe you're somewhere in the middle like myself. Um, but this October 31st pillow, um, it's just, it's just cute. The cute side of Halloween, right? I love the colors that you chose for that. Here's another one. Um, that was May. She says now, now to decide who gets them. That cracked me up because yeah, we, we get on a roll making those and then we're thinking, Oh, but what about this person? What about this person? Um, and so I can't wait to hear who get to be the lucky winners of that. Thank you, Pam, for sharing it. Uh, let's take a look at this one. Now she here, Tracy, this was, this was cool to read. She says it was a hectic week, but I managed to squeeze in a little me time. Yay. Love that. Um, between all the to do's. So she had made the original bench buddies. Um, it sounds like a few years ago and she had given them away at that time. So she made some additional ones. The bench buddies are that little witch hanging out of the, the pot there with, the, with her feet sticking out. I think that is such a fun one. And then the welcome my pretties is also part of that bench buddy buddy series. But instead of making the flange on the October 31st pillow, she wanted it a little bit larger. So she added the a second border instead of the flange and she put a 10 inch pillow form inside of it instead of an eight inch pillow. Great idea all around, Tracy. I love your set of three Halloween pillows there. So fun. All right, we've got Charmin here. She says this was her weekend. And Charmin, um, I noticed on another post, she said that she used the fabric from Broomhilda's Bakery. And yes, you did. I love seeing that fabric. That's a that's a fabric from a, a few years ago. And it's fun to see it come back to, you know, the forefront with a new Kimberbell project. I love it. I especially love that purple one. That is just stunning. Thank you for sharing that. All right, Mary Beth, she says she's having fun stitching up some Halloween projects. She loved the touch of purple with the traditional orange and black colors. She coordinated the 31 pillow with her Twilight Boulevard bench pillow. So as you can see there in the background, Mary Beth has um, the Twilight Boulevard, and then she's added, you know, just a her October 31st on there. But Mary Beth, when I saw that purple, that's a Kimberbell fabric. Oh, that just made me happy because it's a really unique shade of purple, isn't it? And boy, does it make that design pop. So thank you, Mary Beth, for sharing that. Here we've got one. I know we've been talking a little bit about glow in the dark thread. And Jane said she used the glow in the dark thread for this August digital download. She loved the way it turned out. And I couldn't agree with you more, Jane. Thank you so much for sharing that. I love seeing it glow in the dark. Now I need to get myself some of that thread. Um, and then we've got a couple ladies who said, you know what? I love the October 31st. And besides a pillow, I want to put it on a tea towel. And Sandy, it looks fantastic. I love the tea towel uh, trim you used across the bottom. How cute is that? And then she did her 31 with the um, candy corn fabric. So very cute. Here's another tea towel. Kathy did. She says, I posted a picture of her 31 already, but she also added some trim to the bottom of her tea towel. Um, love it. Absolutely love it. And Kathy, if I'm looking at that correctly, I believe that might be one of our orange ombre tea towels that are available as well. So Anyway, thank you for sharing those ideas. I love when I see things that not only, you know, bring out new and fun colors, but also, you know, show them on blanks too, which we're going to talk about a little bit later today. Let's take a look at, let's switch gears now to Christmas. Lisa says she can't wait to donate this pillow to the Pony of America scholarship auction um, in Illinois. She used as much glitter and leather as she could. Lisa, that is awesome i love everything about what you did with this pillow including the leather on the boots oh my gosh that just sends it over the top i sure hope that um that helped raise a lot of money for that scholarship auction um because it is just really really well done so cute in every way thank you lisa for sharing that with us 
All right, let's talk a little bit about Cup of Cheer. You're getting them done, and this makes me so happy. So Jamie says, Cup of Cheer fills my heart and soul. Blocks complete on the borders and embellishments. Sewing in class each week has been a blessing and so much fun. SCW, fun, right? She says, I never had a station wagon growing up, but my husband did. It was navy blue. So he picked the fabric, and was it was reminiscent of a car overheating all the time. <laughs> I think I have those memories as well. A lot of overheating going on on family trips. Forever a Kimber Bella. Thank you, Jamie. That is so nice of you to say. And I wanted to get a close up of your husband's navy blue station wagon there. I love that it brought back some nostalgic uh, memories for him. And I love that you put that on the quilt. I, it's just so, so fun and cute. All right. Here's another one that finished. Joyce, congratulations. She says she finished her cup of chair quilt and is so happy with how it turned out. Me too. You know, when this quilt first came out, I, I was concerned that, you know, are we going to, is this going to be a quilt that we might, a lot of us might just kind of, um, you know, dabble in or maybe have it sitting on our shelves. But you guys are proving that when you put your mind to it and you, you take the time, even just a little bit of time each day or each week, you can get this stuff done. And this is a perfect example of that. It looks just beautiful, Joyce. Great job. Hope you're very proud of yourself. Um, Kathleen says she's proud of herself. She says first ever Kimberbell quilt and wall hanging first ever, Kathleen. Wow, that is so awesome. She says, now to, on to the embellishments. Kimberbell is so spot on with instructions. Thank you for sharing that, Kathleen. I will share that also with our product development team who works so hard to make sure those instructions are just perfect for you. All right, let's take a look at another one from Mandy. Mandy, I love that you used the navy for your border. Doesn't that navy just make the entire quilt just pop? It frames it so nicely. Beautiful job, Mandy. I know she did some Chris Kimberbell Christmas projects last year and added in some more navy to it. And so now it all coordinates with what she did last year. She says she's really pleased with it. And Mandy, I, I couldn't be more pleased either. It looks really stunning um, framed in that navy blue. Let's take a look at what someone did here, April, with an entirely different color scheme for Cup of Cheer. So she's working with blues and creams and whites, which just adds a whole nother element of um, beautiful Miss. How's that for a word? Beautiful um, uh, to this project. She says she's on a roll. Just presents and filler blocks left to do. Uh, she says she'll have to lay out her blocks to see what fabrics she is where. Thanks for the support from this group. You've helped me to motivate to get this done. I'll post it when it's together. And oh my goodness, I cannot wait till you post it when it's all together because that blue truly, truly is stunning. It looks like, yeah, that came from April. Thank you so much for sharing. I saw another um, uh, gal out there, Kinsey, if you're listening, I saw that she was making hers in more like creams and golds and whites and tans. I can't wait to see that one too. All right. Staying with the Christmas theme, I loved what Bev did with this bench pillow. This, of course, is the um, Candy Cane Lane bench pillow that happened last year or that came out last year. And it really coordinates so well with um, this year's Cup of Cheer, doesn't it? Um, you see some familiar houses in there. They're a little bit smaller than what you're using on Cup of Cheer. But again, it all coordinates. She says, we are not pillow people in my house, but we love the pinch bench pillow designs. So I made a Christmas winter balance for my kitchen. I made a flange biting to help with the hang them hang nicer and use more of that pink fabric that I love. Okay, Bev, this is something else. I love that even though bench pillows weren't for you, you still love the designs enough to think outside the box, right? Outside the pillow maybe, and turned it into a kitchen valance. And then of course, with the lights on there, oh, that is just so stinking cute. Thank you so much, Bev, for sharing that idea. I think you've inspired a lot of people with that. All right, let's take a look at a few oldies but goodies is what I like to call them, or maybe I call should call them new to you uh, because these are designs that as I came across them on the Bellas and Fellows page, they made me smile because I thought, oh, that's something that we um, have done before, but we don't see it as often po being posted, but yet they're still so, so much fun 
uh, techniques to be learned with these projects and just a, a great project um, in and of itself. So Heather, she says, make yourself at home is finally finished. She said it was three years in the making. Oh, Heather, I we all understand that, don't we? Uh, she says she, it, she, that, uh, it spent half of that time packed away from a cross-country move. We get it. Life happens. She says, I learned a lot and can tell the difference in my skill level from start to finish on to the next project. How many of you guys out there have done Make Yourself at Home? I want to encourage you to find that um, project at your favorite quilt shop out there because even though a few years old it still may be new to you and the techniques again on this one are just phenomenal my favorite one is the the couches they become they because of the technique used on it it looks like a tufted couch um and you'll know what i mean when you when you see the design really up close but that is a really fun project thank you heather for sharing that Let's take a look at a few more oldies but goodies. Patty says she finished a baby quilt using the Kimberbell Charm Pack. Oh, that makes me happy to hear using Kimberbell Fabrics. Um, she used CBT to quilt it, which is clear blue tiles to quilt it. She loved using it. Um, she says, and I made a little wall hanging to go along with it. I included a piece of the baseball that was used for the baby gender reveal party and just the little feet that was around her cake. Okay, this we gotta get a close up look at, Patty. So I found another picture here to show you guys. This design, Twinkle Twinkle Little Star, Do You Know How Loved You Are? This comes from um, a seasonal wall hangings CD. There's different um, wall, I think it's called the Happy Home, if I remember right. And there's different mini wall hangings for like the bathroom, the kitchen, the baby's room, the family room, uh, your sewing room. There's a lot of different ones to choose from. But what she did here is... She used the baby one. As you can see, the little feet that are hanging off of that strand of stars, she said that was, um, I think she said that was on the cake from the gender reveal. But remember what she said about the baseball? The baseball that was used in the gender reveal. She cut off a piece of that baseball and there you have it in the bottom right corner. That just warmed my heart. I just thought what a great um, sentimental uh, keepsake that has now been created um, because of what you what you made for them. So thank you so much for sharing that. I absolutely loved it. One more oldie but goodie. This made me smile. Of course, it's football season, right? <laughs> so this one, let's see. I want to make sure I got it. Yeah, right. Yeah, this one came from Maureen. She says it's football season. This was a perfect gift for my friend Dave. His fantasy football draft is tomorrow and a little luck with his picks. Great pick. Uh, great pillow for a guy who thinks Kimberbell. Yeah, that football bench pillow always just that was a fun one to create a few years ago because what we did on the original one is sometimes we would put like opposing teams fabrics on each border. Um, you know, if there's like a really strong rivalry um, in your state, whether it be college football or professional football or whatever, um, it was always fun to put like you know, uh, a strip of one team on across the top and then a strip from the other team across the bottom. And we called it the ultimate pillow fight, <laughs> right? Um, so anyway, now some of you out there may be thinking, oh no, I am not letting the opposing team's fabric even touch my pillow. I'm putting my team on both borders. That's great too. <laughs> We've seen that as well. Thank you so much for sharing that. And then finally, uh, this was used with clear blue tiles. Angela says that she used her edge to edge with the blue tiles going well. I love, I'm seeing a, a magnetic hoop in that picture. We often get that question, can you use magnetic hoops with Kimberbell's clear blue tiles? And the answer is absolutely yes. Um, and this design is so fun because it's a little bumblebee design that comes with clear blue tiles. I loved it. Thank you so much for sharing that picture. Um, and I'm so happy you were able to get your whole project done. Pretty cool, right? All right. So let's see what is next. <laughs> oh, my goodness. We have so many comments coming in. This is just awesome. I love it. Okay. 
Um, yeah, tell me in the comments, just just for kicks and giggles here. I would love to know if you need if you were to make or if you did make um, the game on football pillow. I'd love to know what two teams would be your rivals. <laughs> it's always fun to see. I know. I know there's some some states out there that got some strong rivalry rivalry going on. Um, if you were to put two teams on your pillow, what would it be? I I would love to hear. All right, uh, let's talk next about hmm, background quilting designs that are now available. All right, the first one uh, just went up today. Let me pull it up here. And this is a geometric design. So I know a lot of people have been asking for more geometric designs. So there you have it. That's a fun one. It could be used on so many different things, don't you think? Um, we, we do have a lot of swirls and, and loops and that kind of thing. Um, but sometimes you just need a good geometric, don't you? So check that out at Kimberbell.com. Go to products. And then background download today, background quilting, no background quilting. And there you will find it. It's brand spanking new as of this morning. Now, last week we talked about cup or not cup and chair, sweetest pie. We talked about the sweetest pie bench pill. I got it right here. This is coming to shops this week. I, I believe the order started going out last week and now shops are receiving them and then they'll be turning around and sending them on to you. But look, if you haven't seen this yet, let me start from this side here. And I'm gonna stand up a little bit so you can see this better. But look at that sweet as pie design, the pies, the plates for the pies I think are so cute. Look at this, this berry pie right here. Do you notice how it's kind of slick? That's because we ironed on some vinyl to give it a, a little more of a wet look to look like berry pie. I thought that was a great idea. And then the dollop of whipped cream on top, that is fun because we actually used Kimberbell's Flexi Foam underneath it to create that dollop. Here we've got a lemon meringue pie going on. Do you love that plate? Oh my goodness. I. I adore it. Okay, now let's take a look at some of these full on pies. Instead of a slice, why not have a whole pie? We used our orange velveteen um, there to make that pumpkin pie. And then of course there's a dollop of whipped cream on the middle that's puffy. This one is phenomenal, isn't it? Look at the lattice on that pie. It's dimensional. Wow. Um, so cute, really fun to do in the hoop. I love the stitching that goes all the way around it to that braided stitch, really fun. How about a pecan pie, anyone? <laughs> Which one of these pies are your favorites? I'd love to hear it in the comments. But there's a pecan pie. Again, this is done with some orange velveteen. And then because we used some of Kimberbell's silver uh, leather under there, it just makes it look like the pie plate, even with the crumbs. <laughs> Too cute. And then how about some blueberry pie, right? And there we've got, you know, some ooey gooey blueberry coming out of there. And then look at the details on that pie plate. Really cute. I love uh, the edge of this pie as well. So much fun. All right, let's look at some of these details over here. We've got <laughs> we've got our, our whipped cream ha happening, right? That's my favorite part of making a pie is actually whipping the cream. I love it. So satisfying. Um, here we've got some just regular blocks. And then what about those cinnamon sticks? Look at the cinnamon sticks. They're rolled up with brown things of leather. This all comes in your embellishment kit, by the way, if you're interested in that. And then we've got the little glass measuring cup that has vinyl on top, so it appears like a glass measuring cup. And then look at the cork, whoops, that we used on this rolling pin. Isn't that a fun look? Wow. Okay, now, I love, of course, <laughs> gather together, give thanks and eat pie. Um, yeah, can't think of anything better, right? And then what about these piece blocks? These are pieced in the hoop and then quilted in the hoop. 
Here we go. Let's see on this side what we've got. Boy, isn't that fun? There are so many uh, unique things about this pillow. They just make, it just makes you happy. Just makes you happy. So there you have it. The sweetest pie bench pillow. How many of you guys are working on that or planning on working on this? You might not quite have it yet. I know fabric kits were going out. Um, the, the embellishment kits were going out. The designs themselves were going out. And my guess is that everyone will have it about um, mid-September. So there you go. Yeah. Ellen says, love the lemon. <laughs> Me too. Can't go wrong with that. Kathy, you got a good eye, lady. She says, am I seeing new fabric? And the answer is yes, you are. There are some new fabrics in this one. And since you bring that up, I'm going to show you a few of them. These are all Kimberbell fabrics, but do you recognize this one? Probably not yet because it's brand new. This is our new Pretty Petals fabric. It comes in a whole variety of colors. Let me see where we used it. We used it in a few different places, I believe, here. It's again used over here. So there's some new solids colors, and then there's the Pretty Petals colors. And um, yes, so Kathy, nice, nice eye on that one. Um, okay, here we go. Let's see. Betty Jo says, okay, any kind of cut pie except key lime is okay. Oh, Betty Jo, I have you had like a really good key lime pie? Like it's it can be life changing. <laughs> Maybe someone out there has a really good recipe for a key lime pie. But yeah, any any pie is right up my alley, <laughs> right? Uh, Sharon says, hard to choose from pumpkin pie or pecan. Yeah, I would agree. Both are so good. All right. So that is sweetest pie. Now, the other good news is that last week... Um, we were so busy talking about, you know, the new North Pole tear tray. I failed to mention that the new background quilting designs for Sweetest Pie are now available. And they're available at a 25% discount going on right now until the end of September. So check it out. Let me show you what it looks like. Let's see. Yeah, so there's the bundle. Like I said, it's 25% off the introductory pricing when you buy it as a bundle. You could certainly buy it as individual designs as well. Um, but if you're looking for the whole bundle, there you have it. Um, there's some fun ones on there. Let me give you a more up-close look at some of them. Don't you love that weave? Oh my gosh, to me, that screams a pie. It screams a basket. It's just a really nice dimensional texture that that could add to your background quilting. So that's part of the bundle. Um, another one are these berries. Oh my gosh. So if you're a, you know, blueberry, raspberry, boysenberry, you name it kind of a pie lover, this would be such a fun one to add to your sweetest pie for sure. How about this one? This is one of my favorites actually, because I think that beyond just this pillow, um, this one could be used in so many kinds of baking type items. You could, you could use clear blue tiles to decorate like the hem of a tea towel or an apron. Um, this one could be used on, many people have said, oh, what kind of quilting designs would look good on We Whisk You a Merry Christmas? There you go. The flour, the butter, the little measuring cups. Isn't that something? I love that one. And then we also have the sliced, uh, or the slice of, oh my gosh, slice of dessert. I think that's what it's called. Let's see. Yeah, and then we've got the the um, outer border as well. So you've got an inner border and an outer border, and there you can see on the outer border, there's pies, there's berries, there's forks and apples, and you name it. Um, that is a really, really fun design as well. Um, and then I forgot to get an up-close picture of this, but I want you to take a look to the very far right side of this collage. Do you see the little 
pies that are right there, the individual ones, those would, would be what we would call bitty blocks. And those are actually exclusive to the bundle set. Those are not sold separately. So um, this these little bitty blocks are perfect for, you know, two by two areas. Um, you've got some slices of pie, you got a pie on a plate, a whole pie, really fun stuff. So those makes for some really cute bitty blocks to add to your collection. So there you have it, guys. Background quilting design files on sale now till the end of this month, 25% off. Of course, as always, if you um, know of a shop that has an affiliate link for our background quilting designs, please go ahead and click through their link before purchasing, and then they'll get a little credit for that as well. All right. Um, otherwise, you can find it at Kimberbell.com click on products and then background quilting. You can click on a button that says um, by project, which I think is the easiest way to find all the files that we used for Sweetest Pie. And then you just click on that and there you'll see them all. You'll see them as singles, um, but you save some money when you buy it as a bundle. All right. Okay. So Speaking of Sweetest Pie, I showed a couple of these videos last week, but let's go ahead and get excited about again it again with this week. I love that. I love that people are putting in their comments about, you know, uh, pies, how they would use them, <laughs> what, what's their favorites. It's so fun to see that. Um, someone had a really good question and where did it go? I saw it just pop up real quick. Um, ah, Jenna D. She says, is everything in the bundle quilting brand new? Um, yes, um, if it's in that bundle, it is brand new. Um, like I said though, you could buy a singles designs if you wanted and to pick and choose, or you can save some money by buying it in the bundle and it is brand new for sure. All right, um, <laughs> Jill says, so adorable. I want to make all the things. I know, me too. <laughs> me too, Jill. Um, eventually, they'll all get done, right? Really, really fun stuff. All right. Now, this sweetest pie idea had me thinking about something I wanted to just chat about for a few minutes um, on this week's What's New Wednesday. I was actually talking to a quilt shop owner um, from Louisiana this week, and we were talking about the sweetest pie. And she said, you know, I'm not sure my customers want to do a bench pillow with it. So we start brainstorming and um, I, I love, she's, when she said the word like, uh, I wanna dissect it, I wanna just dissect it. Which of course, in my mind, I went, yes, yes, dissect it. Another word, deconstruct it. Let's think about that. When we see something like this and we're thinking, you know what, those are such cute designs, but I'm not sure I would use it uh, make a pillow with it. Don't just put it out of your mind. It's like, well, that's not for me. What about the designs themselves? Oh, let me turn this over. <laughs> the designs themselves are perfect for all kinds of other things. So, so let's chat for a minute to make your comments. How would you deconstruct or dissect this bench pillow into some other type of project? I've got a few ideas too, but I'd love to hear from you. What kinds of things do you see making with these same designs, but on something different? Uh, Jana Dean says, all of my bench pillows are wall hangings as I don't have room for a bench. Yeah, Jana Dean, uh, a lot of people do make them into wall hangers, table runners, as we saw in um, the sew and tell, someone made it into a kitchen balance. Those are all really fun ideas for sure. Um, Barb, she says wall hanging, table runner, placemats. I hadn't even thought of placemats yet, but I love that idea. That is a good one. Um, let's see, Pat, she says wall hangings, dish towels, aprons. Yes, 
totally agree on that one. That you know that like baking theme certainly lends itself well to to like an apron, doesn't it? Or any kind of kitchen item for sure. Ah, Chris says I would make a cover for my mixer. I hadn't even thought of that. That's brilliant. I love that idea. Um, Heidi says a table runner for Thanksgiving. Yeah, for sure. And maybe it doesn't have to look exactly like the bench pillow. Maybe you make a table runner that has just a bunch of patchwork squares in the middle. Like I'm, I'm picturing like, you know, a rectangle of patchwork squares. And then maybe on each end, you take one of the pies or two of the pies or three of the pies and fill in, fill in the ends for sure. All right, Julie. Let's see what she, what'd you say. I love to take my pies in a basket to family events. So I'd like to add the designs to my basket liner. I love that idea, Julie. Thank you so much for sharing that. Um, let's see, there's so many great, great ideas here. <gasps> Elaine, she says cover for a recipe book. Mm -hmm. Love it. Hadn't thought about that. And now I'm thinking, absolutely, some kind of cover for a recipe book. So, you know, think beyond the bench, of course. And if you don't have a bench, you know, having you know, this on, I've seen them placed on people's beds, guest bedrooms. Um, think about, like, if you've got company coming over, like, for Thanksgiving, the holidays, how fun would it be to have that bench pillow laying on their bed, welcoming them, them to the guest room, right? Um yeah, there's, there's a lot of uh, fun ideas when we really stop and think, deconstruct it, and we go, ooh, the designs themselves, I got to have because I could do this, 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 and this, right? So keep those ideas coming. I love to hear them. And that's what it's all about here at Kimberbell is inspiring each other, right, um, with, ide with ideas. So let's go take a, another look at another video, and then we'll talk about um, a giveaway, shall we? Let's see here. here Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, so um, the next thing I want to talk about actually has to do with our giveaway. So I'll talk about it real quick, and then we'll talk about our giveaway and how it applies to Sweet as Pie. So many of you are doing digital dealer exclusives through quilt shops. If um, that's how you got the October 31st design, um, but there's a brand new one coming out tomorrow for the new month. I can, can you believe we're already to September? And it uses an apron blank, um, but certainly you could put this on all kinds of other things. So I wanna show you what the design is, and then we're gonna talk about blanks. So let me find it here. Okay, here we go. How many of you guys have seen this one? coming out in September for digital dealer exclusives. I like to party. <laughs> Let's read the rest of it. I like to party and by party, I mean, stay home and sew. <laughs> How many of you agree with that? Woo woo, you know, pretty exciting Friday night, right? Um, that's how I spend uh, a lot of my nights as uh, just staying home and having a party, me, myself, and I with a sewing or embroidery machine. So I love that design. It is exclusive through digital dealer exclusives. So please find a shop who is, um, who is offering this. Shops offer them as clubs, the classes, you know, all kinds of ways. All you need to do is go through a quilt shop that is 
posting digital dealer exclusives, and you can get that design um, added to your Kimberbell library uh, next month. So pretty fun stuff. And of course, as you saw there, we put it on one of our pinstripe aprons. So when I was thinking about what could we give away this week that had to do with you know, I like to sew or I like to party and by party, I mean, so, <laughs> and then, um, also sweet as pie. So here's what we're going to do. Can you imagine how cute a pie, one of those designs would look on an adult apron blank. Okay. If you're familiar with our blanks, our apron blanks, they are very generously sized. Um, you can cut it down if, if you want to, but some people, I mean, I personally like being fully covered, right? Um, when I'm baking or doing anything in the kitchen and how fun would that be to make um, one of those pie designs on top of the bodice of an apron and you could even you know make it for yourself but what about as a hostess gift um to whoever is hosting thanksgiving this year or maybe it's the the coveted prize for the pie contest that your family is going to have this year um putting it putting any of those designs really on an apron blank would be so cute or what about like doing a whole slew of slices of pies on their plates across the hem of the apron. That would be really fun too. Another idea that this shop owner and I were talking about um, from Louisiana is doing it on our tea towel blanks. So she was mentioning she loves to gift tea towels. I think a lot of us would fall into that boat. And look how the pinstripe on the tea towel coordinates with the, the pinstripe on the apron. And then you've got that beautiful, um, you know, oh so simple, but just really beautiful too, uh, gingham check uh, tea towel as well. What if you took these designs, here they are, and put them on these kinds of things? Maybe it's an addition to the pillow. Maybe you do want to make the full pillow, and I hope you do, um, because my goodness, look at how cute that is. But you could take things even like this mixer with the dollop of whipped cream there and put it onto like the, the bodice of your apron. So go ahead and in the comments, I just want you to post your ideas for how you would deconstruct or dissect the sweetest pie bench pillow into something else, okay? And three people out there are going to win a set of the adult apron blank and the tea towel blanks together. I, I wanna send you both of these so that you can start working with some of those designs and placing them on here. Now, I'm also picturing things like cup of cheer being used beyond the quilt, right? We may think, oh gosh, you know what? That's that quilt, oh, it's a lot, it's a lot of work. Yeah, it is and it isn't, right? We just take it one little step at a time, one block at a time. But how cute would those same designs, I'm thinking the snowman in particular, how cute would that look at the top of an, an, a pinstripe apron blank, okay? Or on one of these tea towels. Um, so think about the projects you have and how you can now use them over and over and over again to make new projects, either for yourself or as gifts. Three people are going to win. Go ahead and make a comment here at Facebook or on YouTube or both for doubling your chances to win. And you could be one of three people to win these blanks this week. All right. So, oh my goodness, let's take a look at what you guys are saying out there. Kim says, I would make placemats and napkins for my table with the sweetest pie designs. Love it. Love it, love it, love it. Uh, Julie says, I would put a pie on the apron for my pie-loving mother. I love that. Isn't it funny um, when we start thinking about our loved ones and we see something like as simple as a pie, it just like takes us right back to the person that would be perfect for be thinking of the person these things would be perfect for. I would love to see what you do with them. All right. Um, let's see. Karen says the snowman and bird would be a great Christmas apron. I don't, oh, Karen, I just, I cannot wait to do that myself. I, I'm definitely, that's on my list of things to do for sure. 
Um, Betty says, I can see adding a pie to, to a Kimberbell tote and then adding pie making items in the tote to give to a friend. I love the way you're thinking. I love it, Betty. Thank you for that idea. Um, wouldn't this be, you got me thinking now about like bridal showers. How many of us have bridal showers coming up, weddings coming up? How cute would that be? Take Betty's idea here. Put the design on a tote and just stuff that bag full of pie making items. What a fun shower gift that would be or a wedding gift. Absolutely. Okay, uh, let's see. Eva, she says she's not a big pie person. However, the utensil designs would be really cute on tea towels and aprons for bridal showers. Yep, absolutely, absolutely. All right, so. Let's see, Colleen, she says, mix her on the bodice of the apron with the flower, the butter background, and quilting along the apron, the bottom of the apron. Yeah, remember those background quilting designs that we talked about earlier, 25% off right now? Use those beyond this pillow project. As Colleen said, just put it even along the hem of that apron. It would be so cute, I love it. All right, Mary, she says, you could do a different pie on tea towels and roll it to use as a placemat on a Thanksgiving table. Love it. Great idea, Mary. Okay, a baking themed bridal shower just flew by. <laughs> I'm not sure who said that, but I like that idea. All right, so there you have it. Oh my goodness, Delia, that's fun. Chair covers, that's cute. I like that idea. Love that idea, that's kind of fun. Okay. Oh, here's another one. They're just, they just keep coming, guys. Donna says, these designs would look great on an apron with Ginger's kitchen pillow. Yep, wrapped up together for a special housewarming gift. Mm -hmm. Totally agree with you, Donna. I love how you guys think. It's awesome. All right, so check those, th be thinking about that. Check out, you know, you can find these apron and tea towel blanks at your favorite quilt shops. They've got them. They've got them now. Go ahead and, you know, support your local quilt shop or your favorite quilt shop online. Getting the, the blanks and doing something even beyond the pie pillow itself. I cannot wait to see what you guys end up doing. Hot pads, so insane. Mug rugs, towels. Oh my gosh. So many fun ideas. All right. So you have till, let's see, tomorrow night, Thursday night uh, to make your comment. And then as always, we post the winners this week. It'll be three, three winners. Um, we'll post it on Friday morning on our Facebook page. All right. There you have it. Now I'm going to give you a one little quick little teaser about next week's episode. There's going to be a lot of things going on in next week's, week's episode of What's, What's New Wednesday, including... Tease, tease, tease. It's the brand new Kimberbell paper tape dispenser. And look at the design on it. This thing is heavy. It's weighted. It's fun. And it's so useful in your sewing room. So we're going to be talking about that next week. We're also going to be talking about, here's another teaser, the Kimberbell Experience the Joy of Creativity binders, which I'm not even going to show you what's inside that binder. It's all next week on What's New Wednesday. All right. Thanks for joining me today, everyone. Have a wonderful day. Keep on sewing. Keep on embroidering. Keep just having a whole lot of fun with our, our hobby. Thanks. Bye-bye.